Hello and welcome to this Windows Server Basics kind of sort of tutorial series I'm going to be doing. This video we are going to be learning about setting up active uh, installing necessary services uh, to begin us well in creating a server. So this uh, episode is going to be setting up the domain controller. So just this is in Windows Server 2008. Uh, this is the R2 Enterprise Edition. So just up with the desktop here, you will notice when you're first logged on. Uh, you will get this initial configurations task. Uh, obviously, you want to go ahead, activate Windows, and set your time zone. See here, mine's activated and set correctly. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to Configure Networking. Then, just simply right-click here, go Properties on the local area network connection, and then go down to the IP uh, Internet Protocol Four, and just go Properties. Now for this we need to set a static IP because the reason why we need to set a static IP is because if you have a lot of computers on the same network like such as I do, um, you will find that uh, um, sometimes when you start up your PC, when you restart the PC, the IP address would have changed. So if the IP address of the server changes, then all the computers that were connected to the server previous m may not connect to the server again. So if you set a static IP, then it's always going to be able to connect to the server. But we don't want to set it to any static IP, we need to set it to the existing IP it is now. So to do that we go to start, run, then we just type in cmd, then you want to go to IP config slash all, and this will give us all the information we need, so I'll just stick this down here whilst I'll bring this one up here so you can see a bit better. Okay, so if we scroll up to where it says the Ethernet adapter local area connection, I'm running this in a virtual machine so it may not be a... Uh, like uh, the similar, it's, it'll be the same as on a physical machine though, so don't worry. Um, see here, we want the IPv4 address, which is the 192.168.40.133. This is one we want to set to, and our DNS server is the uh, 192.168.40.2. So uh, click on use the following IP address, and we want to set it to the one we found in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, uh, uh, there's no way of moving that down there, is I'm just going to quickly set this down over here, so now I can see it. Uh, so the IP address is the one that gives us in there, so it's 192.168.40.133. Uh, Subnet mask, just click it, automatically fills it in, you don't need to change this. Default gateway is the IP we have here which is, uh, you'll probably find with the server machine the default gateway is usually the uh, DNS server as well. Um, not always the case though. So this one is uh, 192.168.40.2. Now preferred DNS server, this is the uh, DNS server, where is it, down here. So this is going to be again the same as the default gateway. So it's going to be 192.168.40.2. Uh, yeah. Dot two. Uh, for the alternate uh, DNS server address, you can leave this as blank, or because uh, I'm in a virtual machine, I'm also going. I'm going to set it to what this computer's IP is. So let me just quickly double check my computer's IP. I know it off by heart. I'm just making sure that it is the same. Oops, that's not how you do that. Uh, whoa, 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 yeah, that is it. So it should just be 10.0.0.3. Just go OK, then close. Then you can close down the network connections and you will leave this CMD open for now because you're going to need it again later. Provide computer name and domain. Well, we haven't got the domain yet, but you see here when we install the Windows Server, it gives us. Um, just a, a randomly generated name. So I'm just gonna you wanna change this to your own personal liking. So click on provide computer name and domain. Then you're gonna want to go to uh change here. Uh do not touch this bit down here yet because we haven't set this up yet. So computer name, I'm just gonna change this to server dash o one. Just to say it's this is our server. Go to OK. Must restart the computer, so we're just going to quickly restart it. You do want to restart it, by the way, so that also the IP address comes into effect. Uh, I'm just going to restart now, and this is going to quickly restart. Okay, 
So uh, the Windows Server has started back up. So I'm just going to go Control Delete to log on, and just go type in the administrator password, which is what you would have set up during setup. So just log on as the admin, preparing desktop. I don't know, I understand why Windows Server prepares the desktop every single time you log in, but oh well. Um, just give this a second to load up. There we go. See so here, internet access. So that's all working fine. Just to make sure our IP is what we told it to be. Just go here, then go IP config. Yeah, make sure I spell it right. So it's all. Uh, scroll up, and you'll see here our IP address is the 192.168.40.133. That's what we specified it to be. Default gateway, yep, that's fine. DNS servers, yep, that is fine. So uh, that all seems to be working correctly, and we see we have internet access still, but that doesn't necessarily matter at this point in time. Um, go ahead and you can do, you know, uh, automatic updates, things like that I've done, already done some updates, so, um, won't need to worry about that. You can skip that if you want to leave it to the end. Next thing we're going to want to do is add some roles to the server. This is where we're going to install the, uh, active directory services. So click on next, and you'll get a whole list of all these features we could add to the Windows server. Um, now, because Windows Server by default um, isn't set to a domain controller, because Microsoft don't know what you want to use the server for, so we have to actually set up the domain services. So it'll be the second option there is Active Directory Domain Services. Tick that, and it'll ask you to install the .NET framework with it as well. Just go Add Require Features. That'll automatically install it as well. That's the the setup and all that is already built into Windows Server 2008. Click Next. Don't worry about this part, just go next. Uh, we can read it if you want. Uh, now it says we will need to use DC promo to configure DNS. We'll show you that later. Just go to install. And I'll just give it one sec whilst it's installing. So it's going to go ahead and it will install the active domain services and also the .NET framework. Um, so just give it a sec whilst it installs. It'll be a pretty quick installation. Um, well, I have a fast computer anyway, so I uh, shouldn't expect it to be that slow anyway. Um, it's just doing the final touches. Okay, so you see there, both installed successfully. That's fine. Uh, I'll just go to close. Uh, it may ask us to restart. Oh, it hasn't yet by the looks of it. Um, so it says here uh, we need to add features, don't need to do that. Uh, enabled the remote desktop. You want to do this because uh, you wouldn't usually have um, a dedicated screen for Windows Server. You mean obviously you're going to for the install and everything, but you don't necessarily have a dedicated screen just for the Windows Server because most of the time you don't necessarily need to use it. So for those times you do need to use it, it's best just to remote desktop into it because it'll be uh, a lot easier and just um, and then having a dedicated screen. Just click on enable remote desktop. You want to go allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop. Yeah, it says less secure, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It just means that um, any version of Windows will work fine. And also remote desktop. Uh, just go OK. Go to apply. Then OK. And then uh, what we're going to want to do real quick is we are going to want to go to... Uh, we can now close this off. Once we've checked everything, we can just go to close. Now we need to do the set up the DNS to, uh, to configure the uh, domain controller left uh, server manager. Uh, we can just get rid of, just get rid of, minimize that for now. We won't need that. So go to start, run, and you want to type in dcpromo.exe. See here, it's now running the uh, DNS installation. Welcome to Active Domain Services Installation Wizard. Um, just go to next. Uh, don't worry about this. Just a little bit about it. Uh, we want to create a new domain because we haven't got one yet. So go to next. Now this is where you enter the the name of the domain. Uh, it will be followed by dot local. It says here dot com, but we're not going to necessarily need that in this case. We'll do dot local. Uh, so you can give this any name you want. It doesn't have to be an existing domain. It can be anything you want. Um, I'm just going to call this. Uh, I'm just going to call this, uh, we'll call this YouTube, uh, or should I do it? Yeah, I'll just do it in lowercase, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. 
YouTube.local. So just give your domain a name followed by dot .local. Go to next. It's just going to make sure that it's uh, available. When I said existing domain, I meant like an actual internet um, website address. I didn't mean like an actual uh, machine domain. Verify NetBIOS name. Uh, function level, change this to the 2008 R2, or if you're just using the normal 2008, change it to that. Uh, go to next. Examining DNS configuration. Uh, yep, yeah, this is all fine. And then just go to next. Examining DNS configuration. Just click yes on this message here. Uh, these are the default folders that uh, the server is going to put files into. You don't really want to mess with this. I mean, you can change it if you want to, um, but just obviously make sure that these folders are in the same parent folder. So here they're all in Windows. Say if you put them in slash C slash uh, server files, uh, make sure all of these are in the server files folder. Um, I wouldn't really recommend messing with them. You just leave them as default. Just go to next. Uh, now this is going to be the password for the actual... Uh, admin account on the domain controller so on the server because you're going to have two types of administrators accounts you can have one on the actual local machine which would be a local account like a, a normal user account if you weren't on a server then you're going to have the actual server admin account this is the one you always want to log into to obviously not only just to use the server but also to manage certain things in the server and we'll set another one up later so uh, don't need to worry about that too much Okay, uh, the password by default, uh, password kind of settings for the Windows Server 2008 is it um, must have at least one capital letter and has to be letters and numbers. That's what I like to do, so I'm just going to open up Notepad here. And I will bring this on to this screen over here. Uh, I'm just going to type out a password, so let's just do 6k4df9 and then just do some random keys. So there we go. Uh, I'm just going to save this password and put this on my other screen so I can see it. Copy, I'm just going to paste that into there. Because I've got VMware tools, I can copy and paste between my physical and virtual machine. Um, so that's our password done. Go to next. There we go. Uh, just review this. So our server name is going to be YouTube. Yep, so there's the domain. Um, so 2008R2, that's fine. Just go to next and it's now going to begin the installation. This may take a little while so I will pause the video and come back to this. In fact I'll speed up the video. Okay so it's finished installing it. I'm just going to go to finish. It will ask for a restart. You must restart it. Um, so I'm just going to go restart now. And you can see it will log off and then shut down all the services and then it will restart itself. So I'll just come back to when it started back up. Okay, so the Windows Server machine is now starting up. Give it a sec whilst it just loads the logon UI. Um, Here we go, applying computer settings. You should see in a minute that the username should have changed. Okay, so it's now uh, finished replying to settings. I'm just going to go control delete. And you can see now, we now have uh, our server name slash administrator. This means it's now successfully been set up as a domain controller. So this is our server name YouTube, which is why I created it. will be whatever you named it. Shas administrator. This is the uh, user you always want to log on the server with. If, however, you do want to log on to the local administrator, you can just go to switch user and then go to other user, and then you can just do the uh, you'll just do the administrator and stuff there. So YouTube.com so, uh, YouTube.com YouTube slash administrator. I'm going to type in the password, which is over here. Hopefully, it'll let me copy and paste here. It doesn't, so I'm just going to type that in. Okay, 4DF94HFBN. Hit press enter. Oh, apparently that is incorrect. Okay, 6K4DF94. 
four D F nine four. Okay, anyway, yeah, I'm seeming to be trouble logging into this account for some reason, but I will fix that for the next video. Uh, so you'll simply log in there and then um, you'll move on to the next video. So yeah, thanks for watching this video guys and stay tuned.